In this video I'm gonna show you how to increase or improve your FPS in League of Legends. In this tutorial we're gonna tweak the in-game settings and we're gonna optimize your PC for gaming so you can get more FPS in League of Legends. So make sure that you watch this video till the end and don't skip any steps. Before we start, click on the link in the description and download the League of Legends FPS boost pack. You can then unzip it with WinRAR or WinZip, whatever you like. And inside of it, there are some configurations folders and optimizations applications and the ultimate performance mode for Windows. Once you download it and unzip it, we can start. The first step is to tweak the in-game settings and you can do that by opening League of Legends and starting a custom match. Once you open the game, click on the escape button. Click on the video tab and now click on the windowed mode and set it to borderless. So the third one. And also check the hide eye candy box. Now set the graphics to very low or low. And make sure that the character quality, effects quality and environment quality are all set to very low and that the shadows are off. Now set the frame rate cap to uncapped. And make sure that the NTA listing box is unchecked. So you want this to be unchecked and also uncheck the wait for vertical sync box. Once you're done, you can click on OK, wait for the settings to be applied and you can now move on to the second step. The second step is to right click on the League of Legends icon on your desktop. Click on open file location. Open the game folder which is at the top. Open it up, now right click on League of Legends where it says application and open the properties. Click on the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box. Now click on change high DPI settings and check the override high DPI scaling behavior box. Once you're done click on ok, click on apply, click on ok again and now go back to the League of Legends folder and do the same thing with the leak client, leak client UX and leak client UX render. So right click on it, open the properties, go to the compatibility tab and check the disable full screen optimizations box and the override high DPI scaling behavior box. Once you're done, click on OK, apply and OK. Once you're done with all of the applications, you can close the League of Legends folder. The third step is to right click on League of Legends again, click on open file location, go to the top and open the config folder, which is the first one. Now open the League of Legends FPS boost pack, open the config folder and now open the folder that you want. So you can go with the high end settings, with the low end settings and with the medium settings. I would recommend just going with the low end settings because this will just give you more FPS. Open the low settings folder, right click on the game notepad CFG file, click on copy and now open the League of Legends folder, config, right click somewhere in it, click on paste and click on replace the file in the destination. Once you're done, you can now close the League of Legends configuration folder and you can now minimize the FPS boost back. The next step is to open the League of Legends launcher and now check the disable login animations box and click on the settings icon in the top right corner. Now check the enable low spec mode box and check the close client during game box. Once you're done, click on done and you can then close the League of Legends launcher. The next step is to open the League of Legends FPS boost pack and open the ultimate performance mode notepad file. Now click on the search bar and type CMD. Right click on command prompt and click on run as administrator. Click on yes. Now copy the command from the notepad file and paste it in CMD. Click on enter and the ultimate performance mode will be enabled. You can now close the command prompt and click on the search bar and type edit power plan. Open it. Click on and check the ultimate performance mode. 
Once you're done, you can close the power options and you can close the notepad file. The next step is to click on the search bar again and type this PC, right click on it and click on properties. Now click on advanced system settings, go to the advanced tab and click on settings under performance. Now check the adjust for best performance circle and once you check it, make sure that all of the boxes here are unchecked. Once you uncheck all of them, click on apply, click on ok and click on apply and ok again and you can now close the system settings. The next step is to open the League of Legends FPS boost pack and open the optimizations folder. Now open the GPU settings folder and right click somewhere on your desktop and open the Nvidia control panel. Once you open it, what you want to do is click on Manage 3D Settings and make sure that the high performance Nvidia processor is set as your preferred graphics processor. Once you set it, what you want to do is open the first image from the GPU settings folder in the boost pack. And now once you open it, just copy all of the commands and copy all of the settings in your Nvidia control panel. Once you're done with the first image, go ahead and open the second one and copy the rest of the settings. Once you're done, click on apply in the Nvidia control panel, which should be somewhere around here in the bottom. And you can then close the Nvidia control panel and close the images. Now go back to the optimizations folder and move on to the next step which is to open the NVIDIA profile inspector application. Click on yes. Now click on where it says profiles and type league and click on league of legends and not the league of legends client. So you want to click on league of legends. Now set the frame rate limiter mode to frame rate limiter control delay Frame rate limiter control delay flip by flip metering. So click on it. Click on apply changes. And once the settings are applied, you can close the Nvidia profile inspector application. The next step is to open the quick CPU setup application. Click on next and install the application on your PC. Once you're done, just open the application. And now set the ultimate performance mode as your system power plan and make sure that the core parking index, frequency scaling index and turbo boost index are set at 100%. Once you're done, click on apply. It should say changes successfully applied. Click on OK and you can now close the quick CPU settings application. The next step is to open the ISLC folder. Double click on intelligence standby list cleaner, click on yes and now click on the arrow in the bottom right corner where it says show hidden icons and double click on the intelligence standby list cleaner icon. Now what you want to do is stop the application if it's already working and check the enable custom timer resolution box. Type 0.50 in the wanted timer resolution and type 1024 in the list size is at least box and type 4098 if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM. Once you're done, click on purge standby list, click on start and you can now close the application. You can now close the FPS boost pack and the next step is to click on the search bar, type run, open it type percent temp percent and click on ok now select all of the files that you have in here you'll have more than just five files so you want to select all of them Control plus a right click on them click on delete and you can just skip the files that won't be deleted so basically these are all temporary files that your computer doesn't need anymore once you're done click on the search bar again type run open it and type prefetch, click on OK and now do the same thing. So just click on Ctrl plus A, select them all, right click on them, click on delete 
and you can just skip the files that won't be deleted. Now close the prefetch folder and the last advice that I'm gonna give you is to just close Google Chrome whenever you're playing because it just takes up a lot of RAM memory. That's it for this video, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it helped. Bye.